What's happening with it, y'all? Welcome back to um, my little show. You know what I mean? We back up in there like swim well. You know what I mean? Tonight's uh, episode is going to be about um, how how sellouts are. You know, I feel like this, man. If, if you sold your culture, your culture out, you shouldn't be allowed to speak on things that the people that you're working for are doing to the people. Meaning that if you work for a corporation that's putting poison in the food and people get poisoned and they die and you work for that corporation, then you shouldn't be able, you should not be allowed to speak out and say, oh, well, this corporation that I work for is not good and da-da-da, and you steady working for the corporation. The only way that you can do that and not be punished by the corporation is because the corporation told you to do that. So it just really gets me that, like, you know, with the Breonna Taylor and, and all these people getting, you know, first of all, it's like, when a black woman gets killed, then all of a sudden, all the black women want to step up because they're scared. Because they know that all of the shit that they've been doing is going to come back and bite them in the ass. All of the deception, man, that black woman, like, I analyzed my life like this because this, this really happened to me one night, okay? So one night, I begin to start doing music. I say, two weeks into me doing music, maybe three weeks, I was approached by this beautiful woman. And she was well-to-do, beautiful, and wanted to give me the whole world. At that time, I didn't have nothing. I was broke. And I turned it down. And for me to turn it down, I know people looking like, man, something wrong with you. You must be gay. You're crazy. You're stupid. No. I've been a black man before that situation. And I see how black women treat me. On my back treated me because it's in the past. I was just coming from a bad situation. Dealing with a black woman. So, at that point in time, me getting into, that's just like, if you, 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 that's just like if you lived your whole life and you've been dogged by a black woman, then you start playing football, and they realize, damn, this nigga gonna be all American, all, all state, all American, then they say, you know, here comes this black woman, it's everything you ever wanted, that's a fucking trap, cause they want your ass. And they finna give you that black woman, and that black woman is really your handler. She gonna be the motherfucker when they can't get you to do something, that they gonna go tell her, and she gonna goddamn tell you, you better get your ass up in there and do that shit. So, I turned it down, I didn't want to, but I just knew. Because, black women love me. I'm handsome to black women. Uh, they admire me. They look up to me. But they cannot love and respect me. And I begin to realize that this is a systematic thing that's put in place by the Caucasian, the white people, to break up family. And I realized that at that moment, and that's when I started looking at women differently. And my whole love has always been women. My whole life has always been women. My bad guy. My love. Like, let me tell you something about me. My love has always been a black woman. When I was a kid, all I wanted was a girlfriend. When I was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up, that's all I wanted. So, 
I love women. I do. Especially my, especially black women. I love black women to death. So, people say, oh, you're gay, you're this, you're that, man. Say whatever you, that's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you can't pay me to wake up and kiss another man that look like me in the mouth. I swear to God. You couldn't pay me to live like that. I love black women. I love them down to their toes. That's how much I love black women. But I know a trap when I see one. You know, I know a trap when I see one. You know what I mean? I know that much. You know. To me, that was definitely a trap. Because no woman ever came up to you like that. Now, I've had a strong background dealing with women. But no woman ever, ever came to me like that woman came to me. Wanted to give me everything. And I don't even know this woman. She don't even know me. But the whole time she's been watching me, she knows a whole lot about me. The whole time. You know, so I'm knowing. Wait a minute. Last week, before I was a rapper, nobody was thinking of me. This week, they see that I'm gonna be one of the greatest rappers that ever touched the goddamn turf, killing records of Biggie Smalls, Tupac Shakur, and all that shit. Now all of a sudden, this woman wanna give me everything. The only time that a black woman want to give you everything is because you are everything. Material wishes. You are that person. You're that basketball star. You're that actor. They don't never treat you with respect before when you're just walking down the street with nothing. They don't treat you with no respect. So I know that's a trap. So I, I turned it down because I don't play checkers. I play chess. Because the game of life is chess. We out here playing checkers. So. Man to all these. People that are. These celebrities that are speaking out on things. Man y'all just really need to be quiet. Because man ain't nobody listening to y'all no more man. We already know y'all ain't nothing but the house niggas man. Y'all are the house niggas, definitely, bro. Because there's a hell of a lot of better singers. There's a hell of a lot of people that play football better than you. There's a hell of a lot of people that golf better than you. And there's a hell of a lot of people that, that, that rap and, and all of that dance better than the people that are on TV. Those are the people that comply. That's when they have to lie about their life and how they came up and how they... Because everything is better. The poor want to be the rich. The rich want to be the poor. And the wealthy don't care about neither. I'll say that again. The poor want to be the rich. The rich want to be the poor. And the, wealth, and the wealthy could care about neither. They could care if you die, they that die. They don't care about none of y'all motherfuckers. All they care about is the financial gain that they're going to get because you're a slave. You ain't getting shit. You're going to get what we give you. So, I feel, I feel like, man, if you know you a house nigga, man, just be quiet. Just like Kanye West. If he survives what he said, they let you know that that's because of the fact that they told him to say that. But, man, he, man, if you a house nigga and you know you a house nigga, man, just, just shut the fuck up, man. Because we all, people, these people have all waking up whether they want to realize it or not. And the only people that are not waking up 
is the people that's already been woke, and that's the people that's part of the, the plan before you even woke up. They've been woke, but they have to they have to play sleep to keep you sleep. And people don't care, man. They all they care about is they self, and they know how to play it to the point where you is the money. They're going to play like they love you, but whatever they have to do in this game to win, whether it's take you out, lift you up, spin you around, they going to do it. You know? And I watched with this person who tried to talk to me one night. If you pursue, if somebody, if you try to holler at somebody and they dish you, and you pursue them, then... We should have been together now, especially for 10 years, you know, but people are, are in different, they're, they're in different organizations and I'm, I'm not trying, I'm trying to be me. It's hard to be me. I can't be somebody else, man. I can't join anything because I don't know where I'm going. So just because you give me gifts, give me my, give me my freedom. 